Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris 1.5 Banks Utopia. We are the Citizen Council on Galactic Unity, and we've been doing some internal economic development. We've recently struck a landmark deal with the combined. Valdari states we have a non-aggression pact, so that is good, and we could offer them tribute or be a protectorate, but that is not going to happen. Yeah, they are, they are protective of me. Interesting. A bit demeaning, a bit insulting for the great... Union of the citizens of Terra. Maybe we could form a defensive pact with them one day, but anyway, this gives us some time. If they break the, the non aggression pact, I believe it'll take them 10 years before they can declare war on us, but you know, they're probably not going to declare war on us. I mean, that that's good. Because their borders are about to butt right up against our own. And their, their empire symbol <laughs> looks like uh, an envelope. Mail. Like, I got mail from the great Rayub regime. But yeah, we, we are xenophobic. So, of course, internally speaking, we are spinning this non-aggression pact as, you know, they came to us because they want to avoid a war because they know they would probably lose that war. But, you know, if the, you know, the top, the top people, you know, how top, very top within our, in our empire, they, they know what's really going on. And they're, they're keeping the citizens in line, letting them know exactly what they need to know to be productive and happy, for we are a communal people. And that is what we're all about. We are developing some colonies. So, Derekem, I think we're going to be putting Derekem in a sector pretty soon. Because it's basically fully developed. We're going to clear these tile blockers. And we're going to seed some buildings. We're going to give them some power plants, mostly. We don't care about the food. We're getting plenty of food from other places. And I guess we should build that, build up a basic farm basic lab there so we're gonna clear the tiles finish building the buildings then put it into a sector i think along with derokem uh, or along with dolok as well we're gonna fill this all up with science labs and so this will be a, a nice little sector uh these two systems here uh Kantham and asmore i guess yeah that's right and then that will then we'll probably colonize another planet over here one of these alpine worlds We'll send some Besidones. They are residents in our empire. In our civilization. Okay, we can... Is that system within my borders? Ooh, what a nice looking system. It's an arid world. Maybe we should colonize this arid world. Yeah, we can send the... Hmm. Oh, my Terrans have a 65% habitability here. That is excellent. Because, of course, we are living on a savanna world. A once lush Terran world ravaged by nukes, but slowly recovered. And now we are in space. Tile blocker clear. Construction I usually like to go for desert planets, but I think... Uh, Research complete. I'm going to step away from the desert planets for a while. Oh, we yeah, we need to conduct our fleet maneuvers. We've sent the fleet out. Okay, so how do I conduct my fleet maneuvers? Yeah, we're... we're our admiral came to us saying, oh, we should perform some fleet maneuvers right next to the Besidone Imperium. You know, it's within our space. It's our right, but it's certainly going to be a thing. Okay, we have a fleet of 10k, so we have enough, and our admiral has enough skill. Okay, so we need to go to a specific planet to do these maneuvers. There it is. Okay. Perhaps we'll practice some orbital insertion techniques, or... Complete. Some out-of-plane maneuvering. Who died? My governor, you, Richter, died. Okay, that's probably fine. I feel like governors aren't as important. So I'm not too worried about it. So do we want to research synthetics? Synthetics. Or... Standardize battleship patterns. Let's go for... Like, I, I don't know if I want to build synthetics, is the thing. You know, what we do need... We should get some space torpedoes. Uh, Devastator Torpedoes, 49 months. Yeah, let's get Devastator Torpedoes. We, we want to make some Construction complete. Torpedo Corvettes. Is what we want to do. I think we're going to focus mostly on cruisers and destroyers. Maybe we'll, we'll have some Torpedo Corvettes in there. Fleet Maneuver. Pla public Interest. The ongoing naval drills in the Ulm system have attracted considerable media attention on Terra and the colonies. Unclassified hollow recordings showing some of the more dramatic maneuvers have made the public enamored with the valiant defenders of the Citizen Council on Galactic Unity serving in the fleet. 
volunteers are flocking to our naval recruitment stations. Excellent ship build speed plus 20% and minus 20% upkeep. Okay. Very cool. And I wonder if that affects my relations with the Besedones. Look at that. Well, it yeah, there's no negative modifier for my fleet maneuvers. Special project complete. A job well done. Plus 10% fire rate. Holy smokes. Well, I guess maybe I got the option to do fleet maneuvers because I have the Besedones as my nearby rival. Is it perhaps time for another war? Is it time? For another war? It's been more than 10 years. What could we do? I think... We could just vassalize them, or make them a tributary, how about? Man, but we could vassalize them so easily. Only 50 war score cost. Well, you know... We'll, we'll probably go to war with them fairly soon. I want to finish fighting the, the enemies in Sanctuary. So we're still building more cruisers. Let's, let us design a battleship. The thing about battleships, though, is we don't have any of the XL weapons, the extra large weapons. So battleships perhaps are not as useful to us. Battleship? But I guess we can we can make like a, a long range gunship, I suppose. That might be good. Ooh, that's a nice looking ship. So we have our oh yeah, we want some plasma accelerators. Okay, so plasma accelerators are good at armor, not good at shields, but railguns are good at shields. So we have the railguns on our cruisers and such. So, I think we definitely want to take some armor here. And some shields. And of course some power plants. You know, I could have researched antimatter power plants, but I chose not to. And now we're paying the price. We just have cold fusion reactors. And crystal infused plating for 5% ship hull points. That seems... Like a great idea. Plus 5% hull points. Okay. 1400. Holy crap. That is a lot. This will be the... This will be the Spectre class. I think I'll perhaps name my ship classes after former consoles. We can delete the Orion class. Now, I think I would like to take my destroyer and give it point defense weapons. And let's see, what other weapons? Let's give it a large plasma accelerator. Yes, they're done. Yeah, we're doing some fleet redesign here. So they're a smaller ship, they won't benefit as much from armor. Give them the new shields. Let's give you. Crystal infused plating. Uh, let's see. We we can't have that many shield. Hmm. This is not cool. We still need to upgrade our engines. Do I need an even another power plant? Or what if we replace that shield with armor? We're still at minus ten. Yeah, that's not cool. And now we're at plus thirty. I guess we could take uh, a weaker shield. Mmm, so close. Okay, let's just ditch the armor. This is what we're gonna do. This is the new redundant class ship. And as far as our cruiser is concerned, the Yoshi Kato, I think this is fine. We could take some crystal infused plating, how about? For additional hull points. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Or we need to upgrade our engines, actually, and our sensors. Or well, we don't need to, but I'd like to. And if we take a lower level shield... Okay, yeah, that's fine. I mean, these, these little details may not really matter too much. 
building some more ships. Anomaly found. Okay. Uh, the Besedon Imperium objects to the strongest possible terms to... Oh, they're, they're complaining about my military exercises. To stage fleet maneuvers on such an unprecedented precedented scale so close to our borders can only be construed as a thinly veiled threat. Our own forces have been placed on maximum alert. Tell the Besedons to stay out of our affairs. We can't afford an incident. Cancel the exercise. No way. Our diplomats will smooth things over. Yeah, we're stay out of our affairs. Okay, how so we we've been doing a project here. We're trying to finish this planet, so to speak. So this is a blank square. Let's give that a basic power plant. Let's give this a basic science lab. And I guess they're ready to go into a sector. So let's do that. We'll we'll be I believe that was Contham, right? Yes, it was. Okay, so eventually we're going to link this up to Asmore, so we'll need to put Ulm in the sector as well. I think that's fine. But we're not going to put Asmore in quite yet. Okay. And this is the, the Derochem sector. So they're not going to redevelop. They're, they, yeah, this is good, and we'll just keep them on a balance focus. I mean, I've already built the buildings they need. What are they thinking about? Yeah, they're currently constructing five buildings, so let's just throw some minerals in here for now. And that is good. So we're getting some energy from them. Yeah, we're getting six energy credits from them. Okay, that's fine, but, you know, it's the way it's got to be, because I want to colonize another system. We have found an old mining station around the planet of Dengafu. Drifting in orbit, it was surely used to mine the planet's resources. Ooh, gain a thousand minerals or gain plus three energy. Where is this abandoned facility? Yeah, that's real helpful. Okay, it's deep in space. We're, we're probably not going to... Ooh, what's that planet? It's an arctic world. Yeah, let's just uh, scrap it for minerals. We don't need that Xenos technology. System survey complete. New Terra. Okay, New Terra. You, you will have the privilege of building our first battleship, I think. We're going to upgrade our spaceport. Oh, man, we have all these things we need to upgrade. Okay, let's put you on research. Basic science lab. Energy situation is good, so let's focus on science. Science makes it all possible. And, oh, we can finally upgrade Dolok, and let's build some more science labs. We're just going to pave over all of this. It's going to be a specialty planet. Okay, and what are my other sectors thinking about, anyway? You're going to construct an engineering facility? That's good, that's what I like to see. Give you some more minerals for that. You're thinking about a physics lab 3? Yep, give you more minerals. Well, I mean, the sectors seem to be making decent decisions, so I will let them have more of their spoils. And what is this sector thinking about? No current construction planned. Okay, that probably makes sense, because I think this is a done world. Yeah, it's... there's nothing else to do here. Just give me as many minerals as you can. I'm getting... Apparently I'm getting no minerals from this sector. Construction complete. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, I know what's going on. Hmm. Is it, it's, uh, no, it's not unrest. What? They're missing energy? This, okay, this is absurd. I need to make sure the sector has positive energy 
output. System survey complete. Okay. That's uh, a bit annoying. I, I would not mind. They can just take energy from me, from my stocks, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. So, well, I need to get them more energy then. That that really grinds my gears. Okay, so they have 100 energy now. They're they're producing minerals. Construction complete. So how much? En they need a positive 19 energy. Well, let's see the spaceport. We can build a solar panel network. That'll help out. This system isn't even fully surveyed, is it? Doesn't look like it is. Yeah. So hopefully we can find some more energy around here after surveying it. And I guess we can... Let's, uh... We can put some more of these systems into that sector. That'll be fine. Let's take those minerals. Give some energy. Get some more energy. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to stick with that. So a new election is coming up. I think we're gonna stick with Stanislav because of his mineral output. Unless there's somebody better. Like, uh, destroyer build cost. Corvette build cost. Monthly unity plus 10%. Yeah, I think we are, we are good. Okay. Oh, crap. New Terra. I just put New Terra in a sector. I did not mean to do that. Okay, we're going to have to undo that. Remove it. Damn it. All right, I just wasted 100 influence. I guess we'll have to go like this. Okay, great. Situation log updated. So now at New Terra, we need... So we can't build battleship assembly yards yet. But we could build a battleship. One Spectre class coming up. Also, there's no need for my fleet to stay in Ulm. Let's put them back at Terra. Very good. So we have a ton of energy. We should trade in some of that energy for minerals. If we go to our contacts and go to the particular enclave, which one is it? The Commerce Exchange. The Rigan Commerce Exchange. We would like to trade for minerals. So we can give them one... We can gain 1,000 minerals for 2,000 energy credits. Let's do it. We'll do it two times. And that is that. Now let's build some more ships. Or upgrade your spaceport. Construction complete. Anomaly found. What? During a clandestine mission to the surface of Beconda, one of our shuttles was intercepted by a squadron of atmospheric fighters belonging to local nation states. Okay, so one of our, our researchers observing the primitives have been shot down. Situation. We'll need to fix, we'll need to amend that, we'll need to rescue them. So, how, how is my sector doing to sell minus 13 energy? That, that is really, really unfortunate. I don't know how to get them more energy. Hopefully some of those planets that I survey will have more energy. That's the only thing I can really hope for. Or if we were to capture another planet. Hmm... You know, this seems like a great place for a Frontier Outpost. Yeah, let's build a Frontier Outpost right there. 
Of course, I mean, these are my vassals. It's like, is do I really want to weaken my vassal? I mean, they're working for me. Maybe it's fine the way it is. Okay, science ship is under attack. Let's see. This fleet should go... Let's make this fleet my... This fleet is my rally point. Just go... Go upgrade, will ya? Just go somewhere, dock, and upgrade. Okay, my, my science ship survived the fight. They, they bravely ran away. A massive space battle took place in the orbit of... Kahalahome 3B at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one side of the moon is pockmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts and, and scans from the RHS. Sapava Abib have picked up several hulks on the ground. Intriguing. Okay, we have a few projects we need to research. We need to rescue the shuttle people. So let's get a science ship in there. And that also needs a science ship. And we can investigate the gigantic skeleton. And alien specimen procurement. Okay, let's rescue our scientists. The Sagan is missing in action, so I cannot give it any orders, which is annoying. But this ship has no leader to it. Eh, uh, do I care about my shuttle crew? We'll just have to wait for the Sagan, I think. They knew the risks. Okay, so we found more minerals. That's not too terribly helpful. Oh, we should we should go here. Uh, if we go here and fight these crystals, maybe we'll find more energy. Ooh, wow, that's a big several thousands of fleet power. So our fleet is upgrading. That'll take a little while. And, oh, we got 4,000 minerals. Yeah, let's get some more ships out there. We are at 141 fleet power, so yeah, we need to build a lot more. Okay, the Sagan has been found. Go research the projects, and there's still more to survey, apparently. Okay, so one thing... Yeah, I did not realize that sectors actually need to have positive energy input, so we need to make sure that remains true for other planets we put into sectors. Which makes slave sectors a bit unwieldy to manage. Perhaps I won't do slavery again in the future because of something like that. That is a distinct possibility. Disgusts me. I am disgusted. Okay, yeah, there's nothing else for that sector really to use. Gas giant ship. Okay, we can salvage a ship. Situation log. Okay, our science ships are all done. Let's start researching some of these projects. Ooh, this is some good-looking space. Oh, and there's still some systems to survey. So we have an Arctic world we can colonize. We have... An, eh. Yeah, there's not really good planets out here. But we can build some frontier outposts. How are my factions doing? The Crimson Warrior Lodge is not as happy. They would like us to assert a dominance, of course. Oh, wait. Here they are. They want us to conquer aliens. And aggressive diplomacy. Okay, if we make ourselves rivals with one other empire, then we could potentially gain some happiness. So what, what about the envelope people? I mean, they are vassals, so I can't be rivals. What about the Hadem progenitors? They are a fallen empire, so we should not rival them. I guess we have no other rivals. I guess we can subjugate somebody, though. That'll make them happier. Okay, well, I have to end things off here today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think of our situation in the comments. And I hope to see you next time for more Stellaris.